and welcome back to Citrus Place. My name is Nanatan and joining me still is Aswan. Hello back. <laughs> There's nothing actually, but <laughs> we're just waiting for the, for the oh, wow. couple seconds. <laughs> so yeah. still same session. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so the challenge. Uh, oh, by the way, we're, we're playing Monster Prom. Monster Prom. Uh, so everybody choose something bad. Say your choice really? out loud with the rest of the player before clicking. Uh, something bad. Something uh, bad means what? Just whatever bad. Okay. Uh, I think uh, fishnet stocking. Wow. That's bad. Hair right? stuck by the fan. Uh, hair stuck. Hair stuck I by the fan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's my hair! I like the way you do it when there's <laughs> actually a fan right next to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. I don't realize it. Okay. Uh, player order is decided based on how bad as a criminal named Mike the fishnet stocking Johnson would be. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what's your again? Mike the... Mike the hair stuck by the fan? <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah, so you go first again. No, you just... Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. So... I just want to go... Oh, yeah. what? So the cat is actually uh, a store. You can spend your money on buying items to progress with your game. I only have fucking five. I just want to go to smart class. That day, you, li- you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating sim gi- dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus Ooh, two smarts. I got two smarts. Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. And the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies. Which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you get a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. You do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to very with sex fetishes. Ooh, fetishes, I love it. Um, nothing. While trying other keywords, you spot, you spot the coven, looking over at your phone. What? Uh, y- oh yeah, you voice, it. you voice them. What? Like that? Yeah. Could it possibly be they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? No, they're always bitching so much about saving the world. They would never admit they're into this kind of weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Or maybe you're letting your prejudice blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. So you're tackling online searching in a very short side way. You need to come up with an expected search term that will point you in the right direction. Or use your people's skills to get the three witches to admit they know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. And to tell you what you need for it. Mm, just pick the second one. So wow, use your so charming. persuasion skills with the coven. Which include techniques such as repeating tell me what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson mm-hmm. is. To the point of exhaustion. <laughs> tell me what the reason Tell me. Tell me. Okay, okay, we might know what the reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. But we know because of saving the world. So you'll need a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a kilo of, of guacamole. 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 We're sure Valerie, Valerie was selling a penguin mask on uh, the other day. Okay, Don't think so we- the cat has the mask. Oh, I see. Don't think we have a kind of guac for you. What kind of pillars do you think we are? Hmm, we totally have a bag of marbles though. How about you keep the marbles on we never mention this again, okay? Okay, bye. Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to be exactly a toil commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you never have enough. Mm-hmm. They're perfect for uh-huh. movie traps and super weird sex stuff. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what kind uh, of thing is that? Uh, this marble smells funny though. Maybe they're already used. Oh dear lord! At first you feel that's not okay, but then again you're about to get into some weird kinky stuff. So who are you to judge? Ew! 
your mind is open and your excitement oh my God, grows. You gain plus through creativity and plus one, one point. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna help you here. Okay. I'm gonna go on Valerie and check uh, the gym. Why you need to help me? Uh, welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. Uh, I have shit that will push your stats. Shits that will let you do stupid new Ooh. adventures. Even some shit that may be much needed some very specific moments. So take a look. What kind of uh, things do you need so to buy? So the penguin mask costs ten dollars. Mm -hmm. You only have five. Uh, gold cocaine. Uh, I'm very low on stats. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go with yeah, fake badass tattoo. Yeah. So you have. A I'm zero always amazed at how people keep coming and buying all of this stupid crap. Intriguing. <laughs> so you're gonna need lots of money if you want to get down with Polly. Really? Oh, it's my turn. Something happened to... You're engaging in your favorite weekend activity. Ignoring anything in favor of thinking about which classmate you'd like to take to prom and how horny you are. When you find out that this is apparently reading on your face... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You seem pretty horny and like someone is just around it thinking about who you're going to take to prom. Whoa, does she have your number or what? Listen, I'm in, I'm kind of interested in someone, but honestly, I don't think I could be with any monster who isn't spectacular at sex. I know sex isn't everything, but it's sort of everything to me. Not really, but it's pretty high on my list of priorities. Oh. Sorry if this TMI. Titillating monster interaction? But it's someone you know, so I thought you may have some insight. It's Aswan. I just love sex. Ooh. Any position. Really? Missionary, clergy, apocalyptic, mm -hmm. upside down nightmare demon, the Ooh. pentagram. I wonder how <gasps> pentagram actually works. Pentagram, yeah. What do you think? Could Aswan keep up with me? Okay, so in this choice, I can help you or I can actually fuck you over oh fuck over goodness. your relationship with Polly. It depends on you, boy. Uh, I can Which only one? say this. Here's the discover of the orgasm. Actually, the whole thing is named after him. Have you ever noticed that orgasm is an anagram or ass one? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Once I asked him what the thought says was about, don't ask me why, and he told me that it's the natural process of most living beings to conceive children. He has no idea. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna help you. Thank you. Aswan? Orgasm? <laughs> hmm. OMG, you're totally right. I've never been noticed that before. Like, actually it still makes no sense to me, but I'm going to assume that's because I'm high and super legit on the level. Yeah, since to know your letters and words, I'm sure it'll make sense once it's sober up. Aswan invented the orgasm, man. Really? Do I? I'm a fan of going straight to the source. I only buy opium from the dude who first discovered it. Then that rocks. Mm. It sure does, doesn't it? Meh. Important thing is, Aswan, aka okay, orgasm, totally owes you one. You Not one orgasm, one. just a general one. You know what I mean? Oh, and you're getting play plus three fun. Okay, uh, let's trade places. Got. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choices out loud and the rest, um... Uh... Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ooh. Haven't watched it. I don't have watched that. Uh, what kind of movie? Could be Indonesian movie? Sure. Uh... Ayat Ayat Cinta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Okay. <laughs> Player order is decided based, based on how hard it would be to explain the selected movie to a normal person. Yeah, I think it's hard to explain how Ant-Man works to an old lady, don't you think? Yeah, it's so, really hard. So this guy can turn into a small egg and can turn into a big. And then wow. uh, he has another girl who can uh -huh. turn into big and turn into small. And the bad guy is like someone from outer space or some shit. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Well, explaining about Ayachenta, you just like, so this guy had sex, the end. <laughs> Whoa, really? Ayachenta is basically a, a love story, but it's really hard at the time. And, but if you 
keep believe in love at the end of the day you're just being loved <laughs> oh my goodness what kind of storytelling that i tell okay, uh, so, yeah Okay, so I think I'm gonna try to boost my creativity by going to auditorium. Well, you have boldness, 13 boldness. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it, also known as one of the seven most douchebaggish moves in the world. But the nickname is so awesome, inventive, and appropriate that people decide to go for it. Quite the feat, you gain plus 2 creativity. Ooh. We, the devs, dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other player to call you by that name until the end of this run. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna call me by uh, Lord Big Madik the Lord third. Lord Big Madik the third. <laughs> the yeah. fuck. You're, you're gonna call me that by the end of this playthrough. Oh, if I remember. <laughs> it's Lord, Lord Big Madik the third. Lord Big the Third. You go up the light booth to see how Polly and Damien are doing. Lame. Lame. Why do I always have to voice any of these characters? <laughs> I don't know. That's how it doing. If I know this thing, yeah, oh god, my throat. <laughs> Just cause I missed audition to go to that monster truck rally. I still would have gone to that monster truck rally, but I would have gotten like mine more custom. fights while I was there. Why do I have to be so many cold drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. That's all in the past now. As long as I'm a real here, I guess we better make the best of it. By fucking with Liam! Liam? Oh, wait, sorry. Liam. Liam. <laughs> but he's so hard to mess with. He's like really good at acting. Come on. Between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. Um. Uh, rewrite the whole play, but just Liam's lines or a rocket launcher. Uh, I think this has to do with boldness, so I'm just going with rocket launcher. Oh yeah! So Duh. bold. That's... Thanks for reminding me about his this rocket launcher I always carry around. Damien fires a rocket at stage just as Liam makes his entrance. It doesn't kill anybody because all actors were already undead, but it sure makes them forget their lines. After the show, a talent agent approaches the three of you about starring in a new reality show. It's called Prank with a Rocket Launcher. Prank with a Rocket Launcher? <laughs> Looks like we got a career out of you in showbiz. You gain plus two money and one fun. Uh, okay, your turn. My turn, baby. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to this one, Thailand. Uh, I think you need to have uh, mon I, I think money. you need money. Because you have to actually... Oh wait, you don't... You don't actually have. I just. Um, you won't have enough money to do the yeah, to buy the yeah. penguin mask. But I think you should just go uh, raise your money. Where? I uh, should go. Uh, to the library. Oh wait. Oh, you can't. You actually can because the Valerie is there. Oh, uh, you can't access a place if the cat is there because it'll just prompt the shop. What about this one outdoors? Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So I choose this one. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demon from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might be stored so, uh, You so. gain plus two fun. Polly grabs you by the arm so the two of you can talk, but of course she doesn't stop dancing for even a second. Ooh. Yo, this part is super Polly crazy. Again. For like the first 15 minutes, now it's just regular crazy, which is fine, but I want to take it to the next level, you know. I want this party to be criminally criminally insane. I want it to be a danger to itself and to others. I want psychiatrists to prescribe medication to this party and then I wanted to take that medication. Are you with me? Obviously you're with me. I'm hot and hot people are always right. So how do we kick this party up a notch, huh? Most normal parties only exist in four dimension dimensions, but I've made a machine that will let us let us party in the fifth dimension. 
Or let's steal a bunch of helicopters, trying a net, a net between them and party on that. So I just want to increase my... Oh, how if I choose this one? I don't know. Oh, so smart! Booyah! Party gun activate! You fire your fifth dimensional party gun at the reef and shit gets very real, very fast. Physical space becomes a meaningless construct. You're all one overlapping body that loves to get turned. You are the music in each other's ears. You are the immense string of a vibrating heart. You are high as balls. Balls. Suck on my balls, bitch. I am one with the cosmos. <laughs> oh. And the cosmos is flicking hammer. It's kinda like a shout out. You party for a thousand centuries of perceptual time and still make it back with school in time for the next period. You gain plus two fun and plus one smart. <laughs> so let's try places. Um uh, I think we're gonna end uh, today's episode right here. Okay. So yeah, leave a like, a comment, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe, Nana 10 channel. Of course, because you <laughs> AI in your channel, <laughs> sorry. I just look at him <laughs> silently. Okay. Anyway, so see you next episode. See you next episode. Bye. Bye.